So we should be live now and uh, just give me a couple of seconds to uh, sort some things out and uh, we are to be ready to go with uh, today's forecast which is going to be Neptune retrograde happening into Pisces. So people are going to drone and I mean drone in emotions that is um, especially when it comes to kind of like a uh, how can I describe it uh, especially when it comes to wondering you know do you go are you doing the right thing or not now that is going to be the big question for uh, that particular transit at least from the standpoint of a tarot as the transit in tarot does represents the hangman reverse with conjuncting the moon card and that, that that's not really a good conjunction ah uh, hello Shafina uh, by the way I think that I am seeing you first time here welcome um, <clears throat> hello Sal, hello Giuseppe, uh, so just, just give me a second guys, um, yeah, I love how subordinate Facebook is operating through it, it's just, are you serious, why? I think that the more they are trying to improve it, the worse it, the worse it becomes. You know, so, uh, uh, that that literally baffles me. Why you wanna pretty much screw up something that is working perfectly? You know, and you just wanna screw it more and more. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Oh. Right. Yeah, um, I can see and hear myself as well, but for a second, uh, morning Sunday, for a second, the stream broke again, but that was my fault. Okay, that, that, is some, that was something from my system this time around. Right, so like we said, a Neptune retrograde into Pisces. So what we do have it is the hangman reversed going through the moon card. Oh my god, that, that is going to be rather, it's not going to be a bad thing, okay, but it's just, it's kind of like you are moving on a autopilot and, you know, not knowing what is going to happen, how things are going to work out. Uh, some quite unusual delays may also appear because the hangman reverse, it is like, you know, that is that kind of a thing where you not just only feel helpless, but also it's, it is asked from you to do something and yet you can't do it. Um, so that's enough for the uh, astrology. Now this is going to be completely a tarot stream. And for that reason, before we go to the uh, four star signs, oh, oh my God, four star signs, the first four star signs or the 12 star signs, uh, I'm going to make a, a collective reading just so can see, you know, is that transit going to be so bad? Or actually is going to be about something good because it may go both ways to be fair okay so um, hello Sarah we are just starting and oh yeah I almost forgot once again uh, the star signs are gonna be drawn completely randomly okay so there is no more something like starting with for example cancer and ending with Gemini. It just is going to be a completely random. I have my ball with sheets of paper that I have all the star signs written on them. And uh, that being said, I'm going to draw them from there. Uh, <clears throat> so while I'm shuffling, um, if you do want to support me, all that you gotta do is to just share the live stream. That That is all, okay. Hello, Daniele. Hello, Miwa. Gems, uh, the pre-readings are conducted in a, uh, in a specific, you know, moment in the live stream. Only when I'm done with the first four uh, star signs, the second four star signs and the last four star signs. Okay, so they, they have a specific moment. In these poses, I'm going to conduct a poll. So people are going to ask their questions here in the post. And I'm going to pick one question and we'll conduct a, a professional reading on that question. 
So let's have a look how is the transit going to be, just, just in general, before we go to the star sign. So the first card, which is going to mark the topic of the star sign uh, of the transit, actually that looks quite promising. I am, I'm legitly uh, surprised, okay? Oh my God, okay. So next one, uh, that will be the Five of Pentacles, no wonder here. Uh, followed by the Knight of Pentacles, which is the third position of the spread. And the final one that we do have for the transit, that is going to be the Eight of Swords. So uh, it's kind of like uh, what I said with the... Um... Oh my God, well, why did I forget my words? Yeah, with the Hangman reversed and the Moon cards. So at the end of the day, we still are going to end up... A bit baffled, you know, of, of what happened, you know, it's, it's saying, wait a minute, what, what just happened here, right? But all in all, um, the general, you know, unfoldment of, uh, of the cycle itself, it will be kind of like making a slow and steady progress in terms of, uh, you know, set goal of ourselves. And I'm talking about a rather a long-term goal, okay, so it's not going to affect or refer something like you know i'm dating with somebody and i just want to know if things are going to work out in between us or not now we're talking about something like you know your goal is to end up happy with uh, with family or your goal is to end up successful in career so such kind of a progress that cycle is going or rather like that transit is going to uh bring to all of us as a cumulative energy now, if Pisces Moonbeam is watching that, how long is this cycle, I'm asking? Because I'm lazy to check. And by the way, it's going to take so much time to check. Um, now, things that are to happen here throughout the whole period of the cycle is that we are going to stumble upon quite an unusual trifles. Okay, problems here and there which are trifles they're going to be rather annoying in a sense of that you know it's they're just going to offer a temporary obstacle not something major but yet quite aggravating and irritating so for that reason we may find ourselves more often than not with rather scraped nerves down and a bit intolerant you know, no, intolerant to a um, jokes <clears throat> um, shenanigans and so on and so forth. Now, important thing to um, recognize throughout the cycle as well is that uh, happiness has a form in many different cases, meaning that, you know, even if you are unhappy for the time being, you can always find happiness into something. So that's a very big plus of the cycle itself. Now, let's get to the good stuff uh, from those uh, four cards. So because we do have the Magician at the first position, now this cycle we will allow, or rather, yeah, this transit will allow us to negotiate our way through big time. And uh, as I said to a, a client recently, uh, is our it, now is the time to claim. Okay, now is the time to claim our um, to make our claims, not to claim it, but to make our claims. Like to make our claim that we want to get promoted, to make our claim that we want to get married and so on and so forth. Because there are a lot of things that needs to be talked about and we have to raise the question throughout uh, the transit itself. Now, ultimately, at the end <clears throat> here with the Eight of Swords, one way or another, uh, the true path is to be revealed. Okay, true path, what I mean is the... Um, the, the only way how we can accomplish or how we can end up in something or with someone and uh, we have we, we need to have the mental straight so the mental strength to uh, to recognize it and not to deny it because and, and that itself kind of like implies that not all of us is gonna like you know how things are unfolding and what we have to do in order to reach a certain goal but that doesn't change the fact that these are the things we have to follow these are the things that we have to do in order to um, reach our goals right so that was uh, oh it's five months thank you Lauren five months that is gonna suck big time I mean five months Yeah, it's um, annoying day. I know what you mean. 
Hello Donna, doing quite well, how are you doing? Right, so that was uh, the cumulative um, the cumulative reading for the for the cycle or for the transit. Now I'm gonna shuffle for the first four uh, star signs. After that, there will be a pull. Okay, and before I start drawing for the star signs, guys, uh, just I'm going to like Donna said that that was a uh, or rather like Miller said that that was a annoying day. I'm going to contribute to the annoyment with. Uh, my usual i can't say gibberishes but let's say displays and that will be that uh, now you can purchase uh, the major arcana tarot class recorded what i mean is that once you place your purchase you get an access to the archive of the six lectures 12 hours of content of detailed explanations of the major arcana and uh, it's philosophical and as well practical incorporation what i mean is that it is explained how you can approach them or how you should approach them in uh, various narratives like career, relationship, looking for career, looking for relationship, you know, in a negative uh, or rather like an unpleasant manifestation, in positive manifesta manifestation and so on and so forth. And at the end also you are going to get a, a few examples of how to make your own reading using only the major arcana. <clears throat> And there also I'm revealing my go to spread that I'm using 95% of the time when I do a private readings. And that's not all. Um, you also get a one hour I personal coaching with me and you can use it whenever you want. It's one time burn though. So make sure when you come with for that one hour, you um, come prepared with questions. I mean, and um, should you want their personal reading you can also go to my website by the way yeah to purchase the class you gotta go to my website it is uh, here in the post and if you do want a personal reading uh you can also purchase such from my website it is in the post as i said and on the very front page of the website you're gonna see all of my services and their pricing so depending on your budget and your needs you can choose the service that suits you most and as soon as you place the purchase i'm going to come back to you within 24 hours uh, via email that is uh, giving you an explanation how the reading is going to take place so make sure that you do check your junk in spam folder because sometimes the emails end up there <clears throat> right so after that anointment because it's at least to me it's quite annoying to repeat the same thing over and over again uh, let's move to the first one. So let me draw it here from my magic ball and that will be Aquarius. So we are starting with Aquarius. Okay. And uh, the first one for Aquarius, that is going to be the Nine of Pentacles, um, accompanied from one side with the Ten of Wands. And then we do have the Eight of Cups. So these are uh, the three cards for Aquarius, and that is going to be rather a bit, uh, I, don't, I can't find the right word, so I'm going to use just one of the top of my head, stagnated cycle, and uh, I'll try to elaborate a little bit more on the word stagnation. So what, it's, uh, what those uh, three cards here really point, it is that Aquarius is going to have a hard time giving up, or rather like walking away or letting go of specific things. Uh, that is because Aquarius itself is going to be convinced, and that is going to be true, by the way, that uh, the more they try, the better the results are going to be. And ultimately, at the end, that is going to be the result. But yet again, um, you have to be mindful how much you are investing in them, uh, Aquarius, because at the end, uh, it's uh, it may turn out that you have invested way more and actually what you are what you are getting after you know the enterprise end up successfully uh the cycle for you guys it's uh, not as much as leap into development and accomplishing great stuff more than um and a cycle where you will have the need to prove that you can do it okay even though if things are not as a beneficial as they should be or they're not as beneficial as things that you can go for yet you it seems that you will want to go and um, undertake a challenges or rather like tackle with challenges just so you can prove to yourself 
majority of the time is going to be to yourself not you you are going to care less for people around thinking of you uh, <clears throat> that you can overcome it that you can do it and that you can sustain it and control it so ultimately at the end that is some so that is going to be a cycle where you will try to um, kind of put on test how much power you can control okay and how prepared you are to undertaking a big things into the distant future a moving forward now don't get me wrong here uh, the cycle is going to be very potent for you because once you understand how far you can stretch your limits of control and of uh, yeah but it's, it's pretty much of control and and time management and as well you know being able to undertake a multiple tasks at once um once you understand those limits you will kind of like have a big opinion of yourself and you'll have no problem you know being um, how do you say it in english uh being determined to jump into much more uh responsible and as well much more uh valuable undertakings after those five months end okay so um, suffice to say here for you is that this cycle is going to be a cycle where you're going to work over yourself more uh, and, and the personal satisfaction, it will, it will mean more to you than the material gains you're going to get from one or another thing. So moving next, uh, we have um, Sagittarius. So next one is going to be Sagittarius. Right, so let me shuffle. Hello, Heather. Thank you, Frank. Right, so the first well, the first card for a Sagittarius, we do have the Moon card talking about the Devil here. That is the representative of Pisces. Okay, so moving next, we do have the uh, Queen of Pentacles, and then is going to be the Tree of Swords. All right, so the, the 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 most important card of the reading appears to be the main card here, which is going to be the Moon card. That is not its its main card. It's, uh, it's most important because it appears to be a friend with uh, the had with uh, the Queen of Pentacles and a neutral to the Three of Swords as well. So with those three cards, Sagittarius, um, it does appear that the team and the topic of the cycle itself is going to have a huge influence upon you. You will, how can I say, you will start growing increasingly uncertain about in generally what the future holds for you okay so you may start asking yourself questions like am i ever gonna find love again you know or am i ever gonna end up in a great job and so on and so forth so uh because you are going to become increasingly uncertain about you know what the future holds <clears throat> uh you will start how do i say it so you will start paying more attention to the things that you do have control upon and that will make you, for example, better mom. That will make you, for example, better husband. That will make you, for example, a better co-worker or a worker into your career. So it's like uh, consolidating uh, and stabilizing the current assets and wealth that you do possess right now and that you can exert once again a control over instead of daydreaming for what could be so uh, pretty much you are going to adopt the standpoint here and that is lovely i do love that standpoint that you are not going to you are going to stop concerning yourself with what could be but instead you're going to focus on what is and you will strive to improve it as much as you can up until its outer limits and uh, should you do so guys you will see that the future is not that scary it's not scary at all and uh, that's uh, this feeling that you are put with your back against the wall because you have no idea you know what follows next is uh, actually a pretty pretty normal um normal feeling in fact you should not allow that kind of negative thought 
to twist and tangle in your mind because that is the only and certain way how you're going to feel yourself lost throughout the cycle uh, itself. So if you do have a relationship, if you do have a job, focus on those things, okay? Because this is what is going to bring you security, certainty and solace throughout the next a five, uh, throughout the next five months. If you don't have neither of those, um, well, I don't know what to tell you, to be honest. Uh, but uh, at that point, um, it's uh, because we do have the moon card on the front line here or uh, as a, a main card. It seems that you are um, walking toward a destination where you belong to be or you are supposed to be where, where you belong. And uh, it's, it's unavoidable. Okay. That being said, eventually you're going to have those things. We can say suffice to say with having this um, this lineup here with those cards. Okay, right. So that was about uh, Sagittarius. Now next one is going to be. We have Capricorn. Right. So today we are starting with the back line for what it seems. Hello, Gloria. Thank you for your love. Hello, Deb. Scorpio here as well. And I'm quite um, impatient, should I say. I'm so looking forward for the Scorpio itself. And I hope I draw it next time around. We will see. My God, I forgot to turn on the recording. God damn it. Right. So, for Capricorn, we do have the King of Pentacles uh, moving. Wow, moving next, we do have the Nine of Cups, and then we do have the World Card. I mean, you lucky bee. You lucky bee. I don't want to say the word because I could be flat, you know, but it's. it's uh, yeah, okay, so uh, everybody would want to be a Capricorn throughout these five months because um, Capricorn will have the luxury, you know, to pretty much sort their things out around. I mean, they can uh, work over their finances and they will stabilize their finances. They will work over their family and they will stabilize their family. It's pretty much whenever these bees are to invest things are going to simply happen okay so whatever you want to invest in your ho new home new car uh you want to invest your emotions into something you know you you just want to make an investment and that investment is going to bear results initial results okay so that is important because after that you gotta make you you have to maintain the investment so it can produce continuous results that comes from this uh from this combo here okay uh the nine of cups and the king of pentacles while the investment is going to produce a wish fulfillment for you you know and uh, exuberation and as well uh, fullness of life let's say it that way uh, that will be a short-term experience unless you do not keep up fueling it you know so you can uh, you can sustain it so that, that's pretty simple now as we can have as we do have these uh, two here which is the world with the king of pentacles you need to know that that investment is going to be for good uh, which means that you can't say oh I, I meant that you know that that's completely out of the question once you make your investment you give your word you give your money you give your love it's pretty much you seal the deal and you gotta pretty much deal with it uh, for the for the next five months so make sure that you do know what you are investing in you do make your research as well and uh, with the king of pentacles uh, it's very important also to maintain your current possessions it's almost like with the queen of pentacles but queen of pentacles is more pedantic and it's more stressed there i mean she does want a how can i say perfection while the king of pentacles is so mm, confident in his ability to maintain possessions that he can be a bit more open and a bit more how can i say um well the word that pops in my mind is negligent but not exactly it is where you with 
with less efforts you are managed to uh, sustain more it's something uh, something like this so yeah that that is going to be your cycle capricorn capricorns enjoy it you lucky bees okay just enjoy it and i'm gonna hate you if scorpio doesn't have such a good uh, such a good transit I'm just joking, okay, just kidding. So, um, that was about Capricorn. Now, next one is going to be, that will be Virgo. Next one is going to be Virgo, okay. Let's have a look about Virgo. Yeah. I mean... Capricorn are getting good news here and there, left and right, and uh, Scorpio are down in the dumps. Uh, it's, uh, it's time that the things turn tight, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, that, that, that is a uh, sportsmanship hatred, you know, when you are hating, you know, the competition, but for the sake of becoming better, not because you really hate them, you know, because you do hold grudge and hatred. Hello, Carol. Hello, Crystal. Uh, so I am illuminating things, eh? Since I'm a, uh, since, um, uh, since I'm a sunshine. Yeah, the sun is gonna go up in about uh, four hours or something. So yeah. Until it's up, I will illuminate the surroundings. Right, so about Virgo, let's have a look. So the first one is going to be the Five of Cups, accompanied with the Three of Cups. And moving next, we do have the King of Swords. Oh my God, all right. So <clears throat> we have a passive supporters, passive neutrals. Um, <laughs> well, those five months, well, it, it, it really does depend how you look at things. It really, it will depend throughout those uh, how five months. Are you see the cup halfway empty or are you see the cup halfway full, filled, right? Because um, it doesn't look like that's in portion. I, I, I can't say for how many, but in portion of your undertakings or an enterprises, uh, results are not going to really match uh, your expectations or the efforts that, that you are throwing in, okay? But yet, they are going to be results, Virgo, okay? And because we do have the King of Swords here in a very neutral position to the Five of Pentacles, that means that even though with those dissatisfying results, or, uh, the, no, that is not the right expression, unsu insufficient results, you will still going to be able to find a way, you know, how to make something happening out of them, okay? Just to give you an example of such kind of a uh, interpretation, I is that say you, you do want to, uh, you need to uh, strike a really good deal uh, so your business can move forward. You do strike a good deal, but not as good as you need, okay? And even though the results are not going to match the expectations, you still will be able to make your business going through even if the results are a insufficient. It is just is gonna take a little bit more uh, banging head against wall. What I mean is, is thinking about it, analyzing it, you know, finding the more efficient maneuvers and strategies. But make no mistake here, Virgo, should you take your time, you know, to make careful analysis over every situation that you are involved in within the next day, five months, you definitely are gonna find a way through, okay? So uh, you are pretty much blessed with that because some people, they, they there is just no right move, you know? It's mean, it, it's a lose-lose type of a situation. But for you, you are always gonna have a way out, guys, whatever the case, and uh, that pretty much, it makes uh, the cycle on its own accord rather quite productive and 
a cycle of a breakthrough, but only those who are once again, I hate the word, okay, patient and uh, analytical and they act with a cold logic are going to persevere. Those who are impulsive, emotional and, uh, and, uh, and are dramatizing the situation, well, they unfortunately are going to end up very, very disappointed, okay? So whatever the case, whatever the situation is that you are in, there is a way out. And you can find it by being analytical and by, uh, by thinking thoroughly about it. Acting from emotions, worst thing that you can do. And uh, another thing here is that you may be given bad advice what I mean it is that you may be encouraged to do things that are actually not good for you and not because that person hates you or they wishes you the worst. It is because they don't have the accurate understanding of, of how the situation is. They, they are also uh, kind of like accepting it emotionally just like you are instead of tackling with it from a pure cold word, logic. And uh, I would say welcome to the 21st century. I mean, here in this, in, in our century, everybody who is acting from emotion and is listening their hearts, they, they end up destroyed. I mean, only those who are following their brain and their code logic are those that persevere and that are, and that are ending uh, successful at the end of the road. <clears throat> right. So that was about Virgo now, the first pool is going to be initiated so if you do want a personal reading that a uh, free personal reading that is the way you uh you do it guys now start um you can start typing your questions in the comments and i'm going to pick a question uh when the questions accumulate and we'll perform a professional reading on the question itself uh just a a notice I will not answer question that re questions that regard health. Okay, so no health questions. Oh, Tara. Uh, let me give you an advice without drawing tarot cards because that is something that I have struggled for such a long time and at the end I say, you know, fuck it. I I'm just going to say it because at the end of the day, at least I will know, okay? So uh, pretty much you can never go wrong by expressing your emotions because like I said, at the end, you are going to know. I mean, that person either likes you or not. If they don't, if they don't have an intentions to share your feelings, then that, that is not going to change even in years from now. Well, it may change, but that makes it irrelevant for the time being. I mean, you can't wait for 10 years to show your emotions, you know, you know and, your, and your feelings. And by saying it now... Even if you get denied, yeah, it may suck big time, right? But at least you will know and you will stop wasting your time. You will stop fantasizing, not fantasizing, but having a, a, a cellular expectations. Hello, Jamie. What are you doing? Long time no see. Uh, hello, Tommy. Yeah, for now at least, I am in a really good mood. That is probably because I slept like 20 hours or something. I mean, I, I really, uh, there are times that I really need to catch up or oh, sleep. By the way, uh, there are people that are uh, waiting for their readings as well. Today is the deadline. I'm going to give them, uh, I'm going to make the readings right after the stream is done. 
So don't you worry, guys, if you're watching, uh, you're going to have your readings in a, uh, a few hours from now. Hello, Chelsea. Hello from Sofia, Bulgaria. So, right. Let's uh, let's choose a question now. Well, Amber, yes, I can give you something positive about struggling emotionally, not, not having it there. Please, I mean, your son is going to get there eventually. I mean, with you. So that's, I don't know what positive you are expecting me to, to give you. I mean, you got to have the, some kind of a narrative that you want me to check over. This is how tarot works. All right, so um, here we have Heather saying that there is a Maneris that keeps coming up and out in uh, her life. And is there any future uh, in there? So uh, there are uh, pretty much, I'll, I'll tell you that, guys. So there are pretty much distinctive cards that can say, yes, there are future. And one of the best cards for that, or one of the strongest cards for that, is going to be the Moon card. Now, why? Oh, I am this I am describing or explaining that why uh, into my classes but if you are asking that question and you get the moon card then yes there is a uh, a future that you both or whatever the question is is supposed to happen okay and no matter how much you try to detach or to attach it will stay like it is until that thing happens okay so you can't do much about it but you just go with the flow but let's have a look about uh, Heather's question here about that man Aries. Is there any future there? Right, so first one is going to be Nine of Pentacles, moving next that is going to be the Queen of Swords, followed by the Four of Wands, and the last one is going to be the Princess of uh, Swords, or that is going to be the Page of Swords. Uh, there is a future, Heather. I would say it that way. There is a future, but it is not as big as you think it is. It is just something that is quite conditional. Uh, it's going to make your life easier, okay, but not by a large margin. Now, if you are thinking, you know, is this can become an, an emotional or rather like a relationship? Because I do suspect that this is what your concern is. You know, as this can become a, a relationship or not? Yes, it can. But I don't believe that you're gonna like it because that relationship ultimately at the start is gonna look like something really nice You know, and this is like you are made for one another But soon after what happens here looking at those cards 
is that Brangos are going to start dwelling in and you are going to start ar arguing about things that you're not supposed to argue uh, and pretty much there is going to be pointless arguments left and right to a point to a point where you are simply not going to be able to stand to one another. So what I can advise you here, Heather, is that if you can enter, enter in a relationship with that guy, that, that will be great, okay? Just consume it as much as you can. And as soon as those signs start to appear that you are becoming intolerant, and he as well, you know, is becoming intolerant to things you do and you become intolerant to things he does, it's time to break up. So um, I, I pretty much think that there is some sort of a... Uh, I, oh my God, I so much hate the word. Let's say karma, okay? But it is a very tiny one. And that karma it is just, you know, to consume each other and that's that, you know? Which could happen with friends with benefits as well. And by, by the way, that is going to be the better way to do it. All right. So um, that was the answer to the Heather's question. Now a couple of minutes and uh, we are going to move to um, the next four star signs. Hello, Heidi. No worries. Haven't been done yet. No, nope, Tommy, Gemini haven't been done yet. You're welcome, Heather. You're welcome. Hello, Paula. Right. So let's have a look which is going to be the next one. Next one is going to be Cancer. Okay. So in a minute or two, we are moving to Cancer sign here. And uh, I will sip a little bit of anointment once again, guys, uh, telling you that if you do want a personal reading, uh, you can go to my website and there at the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well their pricing and depending on your budget and the needs you know you can choose whichever service you want to go for once you place your purchase within 24 hours I'm going to come back to you via email uh, giving you details how the reading is going to take place and also the major arcana classes are now uh, recorded classes what I mean is that once you purchase it you get an access to the archive of the six lectures, these are 12 hours of content with a detailed explanation of the major arcana and uh, how to interpret them into a various of narratives like relationship career or looking for those things as well in a uh, pleasant and unpleasant um, interpretation depending on where they fall in you know, a dedicated spread and at the end as well of those lectures you are getting as well some examples how to read with major arcana only so at the end, you are going to be pretty much set to do your own personal readings, private readings as well. And that's not all. You also get a one hour a coaching with me, one hour, one time burn though. So make sure that whenever you, you, are, you are going to use the hour, you come prepared with many, many questions about the cards. You can, you can purchase the class as well from my website going into tarot classes section. You are Gemini and Cancer, Rebecca, and you are crazy one. You think that you are crazy one. Oh my God. You just have to, um, I don't know what you mean under crazy. 
Uh, if you mean crazy, like, you know, very active, I can reckon that um, Leo and Aries are gonna uh, are going to um, uh, are going to beat you, and I can almost bet that Libra rising Leo, uh, a Libra Sun Leo rising beats you everywhere. Okay, that's a good thing. I mean, it's. Uh, it's like uh, the Gemini, um, Gemini and Moon, Gemini and Cancer. It's not a bad combo at all, uh, at least uh, with a tarot perspective. You married one. You married what? Liberal rising, uh, liberal sun, uh, Leo, Leo rising. Alright, so next one that was cancer. Let me let me shuffle and we move to uh, see what cancer is to uh, expect throughout uh, those five months. So for cancer, we do have the world card, which is going to be the first one accompanied or rather like catalyzed. Let me put my toilet here with the six of pentacles. Now that's quite promising, guys. Uh, it's pretty much cancer. Just can sit comfortably, comfortably like that, and things are just simply going to happen for them. I mean, <laughs> you, you can't ask for anything better, okay? Uh, and the third one is going to, yeah, it's just the higher form. So, uh, who was the winner? I, I think the Capricorn was the one that um, had the most positive interpretation thus far. Well, guys, Cancer just beats you, okay? Just, just beats you. Because it's literally what happens here for Cancer with those three cards. I mean, they, they can just simply, you know, sit around and things are going to happen for them. I mean, uh, if they're, say, you know, looking for love, well, that, that is going to come on its own and it will be quite trustworthy i mean it's going to be a faithful one job same thing around guys uh, uh, if you are looking for a job for example and a proposition or rather like an opportunity for a job is going to come about where you can grow and you can raise your salary and all these kind of stuff that everybody wants okay oh it's uh, nothing much to be said about cancer really i mean you can you can lay back you know and just enjoy the show um on top of it, um, what you need to know here as well, uh, that is more like a philosophical, how can I say, experience that you're going to have. It is that you're going to have some confirmations of beliefs that you do have. Like, for example, if you do believe that you are um, made for something, now that belief is going to be uh, proven. Or if you do believe that you do have some gifts, you know, that belief also is going to be proven. Or rather, like, you're going to have now the, um, the proof that, that what, what you believe in, it's true, okay? Uh, but that is once again a little bit of a, a philosophical, um, a philosophical experience that you're going to have. I not to mention here as well, uh, cancer. That's you know you will have also a opportunities to express yourself creatively in term of career and in term of relationship. In a sense of that, you know whatever you do, I it simply at the end is going to end up positively for you. That is, I mean, how it's going to end up for the other person or for the other enterprises that's does not concern the reading the reading concerns with you and is going to end up positive positively for you okay so i mean i wonder why scorpio can never have such kind of a reading guys i'm i'm, I'm starting to become jealous here and i'm serious okay so let's have a look who is the next one next one is going to be leo Okay, so we do have you. Just showing to enjoy my 
uh, atrocious and dreadful handwriting. But you gotta see how my mom writes, okay? I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, she she's writing like, you know, like, a, like an artist. But that is because she's a magister in Bulgarian language and literature. And I'm pretty sure that back in the days they do had a specific lectures of how to have a handwriting because what what made me an impression is that these old school teachers in a bulgarian language and literature they write the same way i mean they they are um, producing the letters in the same way one to another Well, Lauren, it's easy for you to say. I mean, you you probably are one of those two. I mean, I know that you are Capricorn. I mean, it's easy for you to say now. I mean, Capricorn has a great reading, so. And you're pretty much set, sorted out for the next five months, so. Who cares about Scorpio, right? Alright, so how much we went through, that that will be the sixth one, okay. Alright, so um, for Leo now, the first one, that, that will be as well very promising here. We do have the Ten of Pentacles accompanied with the Five of Pentacles, okay. And then what we do have here, that will be the Three of Pentacles. I will need a, a, a second or a minute. <laughs> so, what that thing really screams to uh, is that um, that could be a person or a cluster of people, you know, like a social circle, if you will. Uh, that um, you had detached from them for one or another reason and now for one or another reason you and these people or that person will try to make up the things again so uh, is that a reconciliation maybe possibly probably you know but it could be as well a mending friendship it could be as well mending a business relationship also but the thing here is that uh, those cards are pointing that uh, you will invest into or it's yeah you will invest into partnerships okay uh, and those partnerships are going to be accompanied with a lot of criticism of the past so that kind of speaks that you and these people or that person that you're going to make a partnership with uh, you do have history with them okay uh, so for those who are looking for love probably the best place you're going to find it it's a place that you already can be at and you have been in um, now the thing is that you do have a lot of uh, work to do you and these people or you and that person because the five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles uh, it says that you have to work with that person or these people over the insecurities of being left alone. It is like, what is the, the, the guarantees that you are going to have that you are not going to get ghosted again? You know, it's, it's such kind of a things that you need to work or rather like talk about with that person or with these people and they need to be pretty these conversations needs to be pretty straightforward i mean you can't sugarcoat or try to bypass certain facts or certain criteria as well uh, and this is where the criticism is coming from but now what you need to know here with those cards as well is that if you can find a common ground or rather like if you can um find something mutual in there you can be a great support to one another through a future developments in term of career and in term of relationship as well so if you invest in cooperation or in teamwork team building i don't know how you're gonna name it here 
you are never gonna get wrong in the next uh, in the next five months ultimately at the end uh, those five months are all about so you can end up in a pretty comfortable and cozy cozy position in regards to the people that you are surrounded with in in such kind of a way that none of these people are to undermine your progress your 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 achievements for example and as well um the straight toward your dream or toward your uh, toward your goal as well. And one more thing that uh, it's very likely to happen as well throughout those uh, five months is that you are going to repay your debts. OK, um, for one or another way, uh, in one or another way, you are going to repay your debts and you are going to become more and more independent in terms of a materialism. OK. So if you do have a mortgage, it's likely that you will be able to pay your mortgage, no problems whatsoever. If you do have a loans, it's likely that you will be able to repay those loans, no problems whatsoever. If you do have a rent to pay, no problem whatsoever, and so on and so forth. So that was about Leo now. Next one is going to be... We have Taurus. Okay. Just give me a second. Let me sip a coffee, have an inhale, and we are going to get to Taurus. Mm. I'm addicted to it. It's so delicious. Yeah, Coco, I mean, I, I completely agree. It's you. I mean, it's Scorpio needs it as well. That's because I'm Scorpio. I mean, we are tired. From those hits that doesn't just stop coming, man. I mean, it's one after another, isn't it? Okay, so Taurus, uh, the first one is going to be the Devil, uh, followed by the Knight of uh, Wands, uh, and then we do have the Six of Wands. Of what in the world? Right, so those three. Okay, so just just, just give me a couple of seconds here. So that's really it. So it's what in the world? Oof. All right, so well, this is how it stands, guys. Uh, it's pretty much uh, this five months on their own accord are going to be very successful for you, Taurus, uh, in general. Uh, the thing is that the, this success it's not going to reside where you want it to be. Just to give you an example, say you want to be successful career wise. Ah, you're going to be extremely successful love-wise, but career-wise, you are still going to be successful, but not as successful as you want to be. Okay, so uh, we can say uh, safest to say here, it is that the productivity of the cycle is going to be meshed everywhere. So you're not going to have it concentrated into one place. And for that reason, um, you will feel like, you know, you are not satisfied. Now, that is going to be the main issue here uh, with the devil card being surrounded by two natural uh, neutrals. And these neutrals are also a very, very strong card. And because uh, one of the neutrals to the devil, it is the Knight of Wands, uh, there is a, a severe menace, if you will, that you can miss really good opportunities to, how can I say, to um to exhilarate yourself with some quite amusing enterprises here and there that can promise you rather unfoldment moving forward into the future but nonetheless um you are to be uh recognized for your efforts that is if we're talking about career it is just the recognition uh, you you will kind of like uh 
not be agreed with that recognition because you may think that you do deserve even more than that. And while that may be true, okay, um, the further recognition is yet to come about, okay? So you can't have it all at once. That is my point here that we do have with those cards. So it will be important that you do hold down your horses a little bit, but uh, suffice to say here for you, uh, Taurus, it is that you are not gonna go unnoticed. What I mean is that you are gonna have to deal with the rewards of your labor. Uh, so you can expect a little bit of a uh, salary raise, probably, you know, a little bit of a, a promotions here and there. These are going to be small things. Like I said, they're not going to be as big as you are expecting them to be, yet they are going to be everywhere, okay? So you can expect that your relationship status is going to improve, your career status is going to improve, just not as a rapid and not as a big as you want it to be. And probably that is so you can be shielded of wasting your energy, not wasting, but overloading yourself with uh, with the energy. Because the devil card, I'm explaining that into my classes as well, that, that is tremendous energy and uh, you can pretty much uh, get it wrong. And here with those two neutrals, they are balancing pretty well the devil, meaning that it is highly unlikely that you're going to get it wrong because getting the energy of the devil wrong has really dreadful circumstances at, after that or kind of like it has really bad and I'm re saying bad consequences if you do misuse the energy of the devil. So Taurus, just prepare yourself for really nice and really peaceful cycle where you're going to make progress, just not as big as you are anticipating, nonetheless is going to be a progress. You're going to have peak of experiences, but because they're not as big as you want them to be, you may not have, you know, the, the mindset to enjoy them properly. And that is going to be the biggest setback that you're going to experience within the next five months. Right, so uh, how much we did now? Three, okay. So one more then, before we move to the uh, to the next uh, to the next pool. That will be Libra. So we do have Libra. All right. And it does look like that I have to grease my chair as well, or should I not just buy a new one? Because this one is pretty old anyway. Right, so the first one for Libra, that is going to be the Four of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Three of Cups. Our next one, that will be the Six of Swords. So those three cards, just give me a, a couple of seconds, guys, uh, to have my vape and to um, uh, sip a bit of coffee. And uh, I will tell you what those cards mean. So again, we have the Four of Swords, Six of Swords and the Three of Cups. So Libra, you are to be a little bit, well, a lot, rebellious uh, throughout, those, uh, throughout those five months. Uh, completely, not completely, but to, to rather large extent, um, being insubordinate and as well, detached i would say with uh, the vision of those which are around you so what i'm trying to say here is that you are more likely to disagree with people 
than to agree with people. Uh, that, uh, that all agreement and disagreement type of thing is going to concern your distant future. So the next five months for you are all about preparing and making plans, strategies of how to manifest in the distant future. So suffice to say here for you Libra, it is that the cycle is going to be relatively peaceful, uh, especially with the Four of Swords. You cannot expect that there are going to be major issues and major troubles that you're going to stumble upon that are going to make you severely uh, uncertain and insecure in regards to your job or in regards to your relationship life and so on and so forth. But as, as more as the time progresses throughout the cycle itself, the more you're going to start being convinced that you got to do something different, you know, I mean, I, and under different, I mean something bold. Uh, I, you are just sticking, you know, with the things that are proven to make results. And that's why you are stumbling at one place. Now, you will start becoming increasingly convinced that you got to take the risk and uh, you have to overcome the fear of the unknown after you do take the risk. And the more you think about it, the more you are going to understand that doing something is far better than doing nothing. Now, in fact, you are going to understand that whatever you do is going to be better than doing nothing. Uh, and that will place you in a position where you are going to start contemplating on what is the best thing that you can do in term of career or in term of relationship. And so what happens at the end of this transit is that you are going to traverse a threshold that will significantly improve your circumstances, once again, career or relationship wise. OK, and uh, that's that. So. Um, if you are, for example, lacking love, that cycle is going to focus, is going to make you focus on how to get a sustainable love, you know, not just only one night stand or, or a couple of weeks or two months or etc, etc. One night, uh, long term one, or in other words, what is a, a faithful companion? What is the faithful companion you need? How, not what, but what kind of a person has to be a faithful companion to you, you know? Or if you are looking for job, <clears throat> then those five months are going to be months where you're going to think about what kind of a job is going to give you pleasure. And as well, it's, it will be a long lasting one for you. Now, that doesn't mean that you are going to be jobless for five months, but it is highly likely that you're going to change jobs throughout those eight, five months. An important thing to know is that this cycle is for you and you only, so you should not concern yourself with what others think of you and of your actions meant to improve your circumstances. Right. So that was about uh, Libra. Now, uh, the second pool is to be initiated. <clears throat> and um, yeah, you, you get to ask your questions now, guys. So you, start, um, you can start inputting your questions in the comments of the post. And as soon as they accumulate, I'm going to pick a question. And I'm going to perform a professional reading on that question. Yeah, Frank, four more left. Tiffany, uh, 
if you do want a private reading you can purchase such from my website the uh it's linked here into the post if you do want a, a free reading uh the only way you get one is through the pool that i'm conducting right now so you can just type your question welcome to the stream by the way i hope you enjoy it So yeah, let me let me annoy you while you are inputting your questions. Um, I already said about the private readings. You can get one by uh, purchasing it through my website. Uh, on the front page, you're gonna see all uh, of my services and their pricing as well. So depending on your budget and your needs, you can purchase uh, whichever service. And I'm gonna come back to you within 24 hours, giving you a details how the reading is gonna take place. That will be via email, so make sure you do check your spam engine folder as well. And um, the Major Arcana or the Beginner's Tarot classes are now um, in a recorded version. Uh, what that means is that as soon as you purchase it, again in 24 hours, you're going to get an access to the archive of 12 hours of content uh, with the details, uh, de oh my God, detailed explanations of the major arcana and how to interpret them in a various uh, narratives like the looking for career, ongoing career, relationship, and etc. etc. As well, how they stand in a dedicated spread that you can use to uh, read with major arcana only, which I'm showcasing at the end of those lectures as well with a few examples. And that's all you're also going to get a one hour coaching uh, with me that you can use whichever you want. It's one time burn though. So make sure that you do come prepared for it with a lot of questions. My recommendation to the people who purchase those classes is that they listen to the classes, try to make their own readings because this is when the questions, that is the time when the question starts to appear. And as soon as the questions accumulate, then you come and burn uh, the, that hour. Uh, yeah, Megan, I'm using PayPal only and that is for security reasons and because in my country I can use only that, okay, that, that's the thing with, with any other uh, methods of uh, payment. Right, so let's, uh, let's have a look and make a pick of a question. So we had a relationship reading uh, the previous pool. Now I'm going to choose uh, probably a career one, just to make it a little bit more versatile. And um, the only career one it is uh, Patty Rinken, which asks, uh, "Is my financial situation going to change soon? I guess improve soon, you know, because nobody wants their financial situation to change for the worse, right? So let's have a look, Patty." So the first one is going to be the Tree of Cups. Uh, the next one is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the Aeon. And the last one, that will be the Prince of Cups. So let me uh, let me give you a time frame here. So the time frame is by the start of May next year. So we do have quite a long period of time. Uh, your financial situation, Patty, is going to start changing slowly, okay, from now on. Uh, the, the bottom line of this reading is that whatever you anticipate to, to do to improve your financial status or whatever you, are, you have started to do recently to improve your financial status, it will work, okay? I mean, that, that, that is the thing that you have to do, or in other words, whatever you're doing, do not stop doing it, okay? 
and eventually uh, that I don't know how to name it strategy or whatever uh, it will produce significant results for you at least that is but it will take time once again to take in and that time is almost a one year so it's very important here not to um, be conservative about your efforts if that's about job you know so give everything you got because in the end you're gonna get just as much as you gave in that that is very common with the prince of pentacles uh with the prince of cups i'm sorry and that is the bottom line of uh, of the readings as such presented uh, such presented question yes your financial status is going to change slowly but steadily as a matter of fact uh very soon you're going to see the, the the very first first fruits of your uh, of your labor okay so the ver very soon you're going to see a little bit of a uh, supplement of your income or increase into your income and that will keep on growing and growing to a point where you're going to get the hang of you know how to make money so that that is that what that what that cycle is all about for you to understand the true way for you that is how to make money because some people you know they make money through acting other people make money through schemes other people make money through work and so on and so forth i make money through tarot you know you, you the whole point of this uh, cycle for you that it is almost one year is that you're gonna find your niche how to make money you know and how to change your uh, your financial state for the better or financial status for the better Okay, so that was uh, Patty's answer um, in regards to her question. And now a couple of minutes and we're going to go to the last four star signs, guys. And after that, the last pool of uh, free readings is going to be conducted. So if, you, if your question haven't been picked up, uh, make sure that you do stay to the end. And then, you know, in, a, in the last pool, it may be picked up. Hello, Amy. Long time no see. How are you doing? Are things working out for you? You're good. Nice to hear. I'm good too, at least for now. So I don't want to brag about it, you know, because bragging about it, it's like, you know, challenging the fate because it always can get worse. Now, that's fact. Uh, this is something that it's. Uh... Oh, my God, guys. Uh, it's a parable of a friend of mine saying, you know, when the things are good, they're good, you know, but when they're bad, they can always get worse. So, you know, don't brag about the things where um when the things are a good but i just uh it came to me another parable uh and it is in my country i was talking with my mom today and we laughed on it and it's very very true you know uh it's uh, the parable goes like that it's a little bit vulgar okay so the parable goes like that a bird flew through the winter and uh it froze solid and fell on the ground However, it fell or uh, the, the bird fell on a, a cow's path. And when the, the cow um, crossed path with the fallen bird, that was a rock solid frozen, uh, the, the car pulled on it. And uh, pretty much from the, warmth, from the warmth of the pool, the, 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 the bird starts kind of like making her noises again, you know, shrieking, saying that way. So the, the, um, the bird starts shrieking and the cat heard the bird. So it dragged it from the pool and ate it alive. So what are the conclusions? <laughs> there, there are three very important conclusions from the parable. Now, the first conclusion, it is that not everybody who puts you in the shits are wishes you, uh, is wishing you the worst. Okay? As not everybody who pulls you out of the shits is wishing you the, uh, the best. 
And the most important conclusion it is when you are full of shit, do not make a sound. Okay, just, just don't talk. That's best. So that that that's the parable. It's it's a national parable. It's it's awesome. I love it. I uh, and whenever every time with someone with someone when someone screws in regards to me, I am saying that parable to them. Right, so the next star sign, that will be Pisces. So we do have Pisces. <laughs> we all know a few people like that, Eta. <laughs> yeah there it's a shitty parable true <laughs> oh my god yeah it's something that I laughed quite loud with my mom today because we were talking about, you know, all that, these kind of stuff of, uh, in our country, you know, and how they are, they, they can't handle uh, properly, you know, what is going on and all those kind of stuff. And they're talking bullshit, you know, everybody. Well, when you go to the TV, they're saying one thing today and, and they're completely contradicting themselves tomorrow. And there are uh, quite a lot of scandals right now with, uh, with our elites, like with the secretary of the president and all these kind of stuff. Uh, and they're talking, you know, they it's, uh, and it's pretty obvious that they're guilty. So whenever, when you're full of shit, just, just, just stop talking, you know. Because <laughs> that is the best thing you can do for yourself. You're not serving yourself any uh, any good by by trying to exonerate. Because it's you just it's it's obvious that you are guilty of it. Thank you, Shay. Right. So let's uh, have a look what we do have for Pisces. Right, so uh, the first one is going to be the Eight of Cups followed by the Two of Pentacles and the last one here uh, is going to be uh, the Hierophant card, okay, so that's for Pisces. And uh, this uh, five months uh, for Pisces are going to be rather quite playful for what it seems with those cards. What I mean is that first of all, what we do have here, it is a active Friend, uh, passive friends, I'm sorry. So we do have a passive friends and then we do have a passive friends once again. So uh, what we do have it is that whenever something doesn't work very well for Pisces throughout those say uh, five months, they're always gonna find their way around it. Uh, and uh, that may, that be, that, oh my God, that being said, uh, okay, so the Pisces are gonna find themselves in changing concepts here and there just for the sake of becoming more adaptable to their career and to their relationship as well. However, that is not going to um, kind of like change the major overview that Pisces generally have for their current relationship or their for, for their current relationship lifestyle and for their current career 
or current career lifestyle uh, for that matter. Now another thing that uh, kind of stands out in this uh, reading is that whatever troubles Pisces does have at that particular point, they're going to find the resolution in, in the existing framework of the problem themselves. Now another parable guys, uh, which is a uh, Buddhism parable. And it says that the root of our suffering, it is our attachment to things and people. Okay, so whenever we are uh, miserable, uh, pretty much and whenever we do have a problem, uh, probably the source of our problem, it's our attachment to a person or to a thing. And you finding your way around it means that you're going to find a way how to detach from uh, that dependency, if you will. Because with the uh, um, Hierophant and the Eight of Cups, uh, what will matter at the end of the day for you, Pisces, is going to be the overview, the, the, uh, the future perspectives rather than the current unpleasant circumstances, should there, should there be any unpleasant circumstances at this particular point for you. And in some extreme cases as well, uh, it will turn out that the plan B you do have, it will be far better than the original plan that did not happen for you, should it not happen for you as well. Now that all is conditional, you know, the things may go very smooth for some of you, but they may not go as smooth as with some of you, with others. However, with those others, they will always, once again, gonna find their way through or their way around. It is like going through the, the droplets, you know, it's not being, um, not, uh, oh, not being suffused with, uh, with water, if you will. <clears throat> right, so that was, um, that was about Pisces. It's it's a pretty good one, guys. It does look like that you're going to get away with a lot of things, okay? And uh, at the end of the day, whatever happens out there throughout those five months, you know, you're always going to end up more or less satisfied and fulfilled because you're going to find your own way how to manifest your uh, your own things. Right, that was Pisces. Now, let me let me have a look. Uh, who is going to be the next one and that will be uh, Aries so it does look like that Scorpio probably is going to be the last today hello Rachel welcome to the stream I hope you do enjoy it Right, so uh, let's have a look about Aries. So we do have the Ten of Swords for Aries uh, moving next. Day. Wow, that is going to be just this. Wow. Uh, and then we do have the Knight, the, no, the Nine of Cups for Aries. Those three. Um, well, Aries are gonna, that is going to be pretty important transit for Aries. Uh, they will have to make some pretty tough calls. I mean, pretty tough decisions that will pretty much have no points of return whatsoever. It's like, you know, either uh, stay or go, say, say it that way. They will have to make a decision, should they stay or go? But once they make a decision, they cannot get their word back. Same thing goes in terms of making actions, you know? I mean, you, you, you pretty much have to do it at the end of the day. So the way how I see that reading or that transit for areas, it is the things that they hope that is not gonna come to that at the end of the day, you know? For example, you have hope that you don't have to place, you know, the matters in a such a way that either you should make it or break it in terms of relationship, or you hope that it's not going to come to that you have to place an ultimatum into your career that you're going to leave if something isn't happening. Uh, unfortunately, that is going to be the way how the things are going to rule or how the things are going to run in the next five months for you. So everything is going to be um, definitive. Now, uh, it's important here that you do, that you Aries do have, uh, or you do clinch. You're going to have it, but how much you're going to cling to it, well, that depends on you. 
but you have to cling to your astute discernment of what will be the best way to 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 tackle with things pretty much you're gonna know now the only thing once again that will deprive you of doing it it is your heart so you gotta go by the cold logic you do have additionally to that um it will uh, that astute discernment that you need to incorporate also needs to be um focused on which priorities are real priorities and which priorities simply are celluloid what i mean is that which activities you pretty much do not need uh, do not need into your life so you do can only focus on those meaningful enterprises which are to be uh, to to pretty much produce results for you because with the justice and the ten of swords especially at the end of the day uh, at the end of the cycle whatever results you do have in your life or, or, or in whatever stage your life is it is because you made it that way okay so you you're not going to have anybody else to blame for the states of your life uh, at the end of those five months uh, which uh, at the end of the day gives a uh, enormous opportunities i mean uh, because with the justice and the ten of swords you can definitely for example end up in a relationship you just have to be rather aggressive about it and you have to be also how can i say objective about it you can't go for example for a person that simply says to you no i don't want to be with you you can go for the one that says i like you okay so whatever you hear and whatever the situation is in between you and your ex for example in between you and your person of interest it is the real situation you should not fantasize that you know they are saying you that they don't want to be with you but they are saying that because you know they don't know what they are talking about they do know what they're talking about and they are saying you the truth okay um and with the nine of cups here next to the ten of swords these are two neutrals neutral cards and actually that's a good uh, that that's a good collision because it does point that despite of the tension and the stress that you're going to experience, knowing that, you know, everything you do is definitive, uh, that the Nine of Cups kind of points that you are going to have a kind of like checkpoints or rather like places of, of solace. It's like a safe places or a safe endeavors that you will have a time to catch up your breath, to recharge your energy or etc. Or simply you're going to have activities that are independent from those really serious stuff that you're going that you're going to attend to that will be able to make you uh, to restore your happiness, if you will, at certain uh, at certain points. But nonetheless, for you Aries, that cycle is going to be very important. And it's probably where the uh, your uh, future couple of years is going to be decided so make sure that you do it right well i think that i already read for gemini we have um have i read for gemini no i i don't know All right, just one second here, guys. So let's have a look which is going to be the next one. Okay, so we do have Scorpio next one, and the last one is going to be Gemini. You're right, so we do have Scorpio and then... Gemini. All right, so um, send your energies, do your thing. We need something good. Come on. That will be the magician. First one for Scorpio. Oh my God. So we do have the Tree of Swords. That is going to suck, isn't it? I mean, oh my God. It's going to be the Six of Swords, like these three. Oh. So we do have those three, okay? Just let me prepare myself psychologically before I convey it here. So those three, once again, I mean, look at them really, really well. Those. Mm -hmm. I just want to throw them out of the out of my window. I'm almost I'm almost tempted to make another pool. Okay, <laughs> uh, 
but anyway so we do have those three it is what it is i can't change them um we have three airy cards airy cards airy and uh, that will be they are three uh, they are two a uh, supportive active supportive combos mm. second so uh for what it seems guys uh we are going to throughout those couple of months always work uh under pressure okay uh, uh, probably suffice to say here the good thing is that we are gonna do a good good job but that good job is gonna be done because we're going to be like with our backs against the wall and we don't have the luxury to make up uh, to, to, to perform bad you know we have to do the most that we are capable of throughout those five months because nothing less is going to be expected from us. No different than, for example, being in a family where the, the, the parents are like a perfectionist and they are expecting their child to, I don't know, to surpass them when the child is five years old and always demanding and, and, and requesting and all those kind of stuff. So such kind of a thing it is that we're going to have throughout, the, throughout those five months. We, we will simply have uh, no room for a failure and no room, you know, to say, I can't do it. Uh, however, on the plus side, uh, if we do the things right throughout those uh, five months, guys, uh, it does look like that we will be able to establish a, a state of sovereignty. What I mean is that uh, this will be a fantastic time where some of us may establish their own thing, like their own business, it will be hard, okay, and we are going to work with our backs against the wall once again, but at the end of the day, uh, it will be a successful establishment. Now, the key thing with us, Scorpio, it is that our actions need to speak for themselves. What I mean is that whenever we do something, we got to support it with really strong determinations there. Or in other words, we have, it, it needs to seem that we really want to do what we are doing, even if that's not the case. Say that we are um, kind of like flirting with someone and we have to show that we really want that guy or a girl, even if, you know, it's, it's irrelevant. We are doing it for fun. So uh, at the end of the day here, a lot of our actions in terms of career and in terms of relationship, it will seem by a, a long shot, okay? That there, there are many things that can go wrong. A uh, good thing, however, it is that at the end of the day, miraculously things are gonna happen, thank God. But all the stress that we are going to accumulate, um, uh, it will pretty much affect us in a, a bit negative way, especially for those which are very, very emotional Scorpios. Um, uh, Scorpio, they are going to have the tendency to allow those rather poignant, I wouldn't say negative thoughts, but rather poignant thoughts to twist and tangle through their mind. And uh, it's very likely that, you know, these people are going to have their knack of life in general, or, or how can I say, you know, the, the drive for life being abated because they will see no reason to, to do things as things are not happening, but they are happening. It is just, they are happening in a very difficult way. So, um, I just want to make an appeal here to all the Scorpio, including me, you know, that is that we have to be tenacious and we have to be rather unyielding, if you will, toward a, the things we, we want because they are really going to be a, a pain in the A to accomplish. But we can get there. Okay, so that, that's the whole point here. We can definitely get there. So it's going to be a pain in the A to pretty much say make a reconciliation. It's going to be a pain in the A to get into a relationship. It's going to be a pain in the A to find a job. But at the end, we will be able to do all that, but with enormous efforts and with some risks taken as well. I mean, it's not going to happen without the risk. Right. So that was about Scorpio. Now moving next, last but not least, we do have Gemini. Well, Donna, the cards may not be the same, but I am pretty sure that the message will be.
All right, so uh, for Gemini, we do have the Queen of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. So those uh, those three cards, okay. Right, so Gemini, um, that will be quite of an unexpected uh, deviation that you uh, deviations that you are going to um, have throughout those uh, those five months. What I mean is that, for example, halfway through a certain enterprises, like for example, relationship enterprises or career enterprises, you're going to simply identify that they're not worth it. I mean, are they worth it or not? That's irrelevant. You will be convinced that they're not worth it, that they will not produce the results that you do want. And then immediately you're going to abandon those things and start a new stuff to, to unfold and to develop as well. So I'm saying that because um, pretty much uh, those that are surrounding you, I mean, people that you love, people that, that loves you and etc., cetera, et cetera, uh, is likely that they're gonna find you very inconsistent. Obviously, that is not a good thing in terms of family, uh, uh, in terms of relationship as well, and in terms of job also. I mean, imagine that kind of a uh, situation where your your boss gives you a project and halfway through the project, you decide that it's, it's not a big deal, you know, so instead I'm going to attend to something else. That makes you look extremely, extremely reliable. So what I am trying to say here for you, Gemini, it is that you are going to have a hard time to focus your energy on one particular thing. Uh, and scattering it around, it's not necessarily a bad thing as well. However, with the Queen of Swords, you need to place your energy in those places that you can push through. Okay, You should not waste it in just a... Uh, how do you say it in English when you find something interesting and you just do it? Just to see if it's going to happen or not. Okay, uh, And when it doesn't happen, you end up being wasting resources in it. Uh, <clears throat> So uh, in my language, we do have a specific word for that kind of a thing. Uh, just let me let me try to find it in the dictionary here, okay? And I do apologize for that. It's just English is not my native. So yeah, there will be times where I'm unable to um, to know the I don't just know don't know the word that I want to convey. Um, Whim. The word is whim. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you don't go toward a whims, but rather go toward a an enterprises that are offering you something in return at the end. Uh, no, it's not. Um, it's not curiosity. So, it's a whim. Uh, okay, so whim, whims bad thing okay you do not go for those things you just go only for a productive uh, productive enterprises uh, another thing here it is the conflict in between the two queens i mean the two, the queen of cups and the queen of swords and that pretty much speaks for a huge conflict in terms of emotional and mental state what i mean is that your emotions are going to tell you one thing your logic however is going to tell you another and the whims are coming from the emotions. So you do go with your logic. You do not go with your, uh, with your emotions here. So even if you are dying from love towards something, but you know that that will never come true, you do not go for it. Okay, so whatever your anticipation is, I mean, logical anticipation is, it's true. Because your logical ante anticipation here with the Queen of Swords it will allow you to push your things through throughout this Neptune retrograde in Pisces. Right. So that was uh, that was about the four uh, the old twelve star, star. Oh my God, star signs. And now the last pool is going to be conducted. Okay. So if you do want your question to be answered for free with professional reading, now is the time you ask it. Uh, input it into the um, into the comments of the post, and uh, I'm going to uh, make 
I'm going to pick one of the questions and we'll conduct a uh, professional tar reading on it. I'm sure it answered your question, D. Now that I'm not sure it is exactly the conflict in between the emotions and the logic, okay? So you gotta go with your logic. And yeah, guys, um, the last portion of anointment here it is uh, that uh, if you do want your personal reading, you can go to my website, which is uh, listed here into the post. And uh, on the very front page, you're going to see all of my services and their pricing as well. Um, so depending on your budget and uh, your needs, you can choose a service. Once you purchase it within 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you via email, giving you a, a details how your reading is going to take place. And as well, uh, you can now purchase recorded the Major Arcana Beginner Star Class, oh my God, Star Class, which gives you an access to a, a six lectures that you can watch whenever you like uh, with the uh, 12 hours of content so the, the cumulative length of those six lectures is 12 hours uh, of a detailed explanations of the major arcana tarot cards and how to interpret them in a various uh, topics like relationship like career or looking for those stuff you know when i'm gonna find a job am i gonna find a job am i gonna end up in relationship and this kind of stuff and also um in the positions of the dedicated spread that it is fake well, major arcana friendly okay so at the end of the uh at the end of the the class just like I'm showcasing there at the last lecture, you are set to do your own readings, uh, even though only with the, with the major arcana, uh, they are not less accurate. In fact, something that I'm going to say right now it is that uh, in the very early, uh, in the dawn of tarot, only the major arcana were undertaken in a, a fortune telling reading and the rest of the cards, the suits, well, this is how the playing cards were created. You know, people were playing with the suits and with the major arcana, they were conducting a fortune telling. Only later, the minor arcana were incorporated in the, um, <clears throat> uh, in the fortune telling aspect of tarot cards. So if the major arcana cannot give you the right answer, you, you can't get the right answer from the minor arcana mixed with the major arcana either. So yeah, I mean that the, the reading is not less accurate doing it only with the major arcana. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, and on top of that, you get also a one hour personal coaching with me one on one whenever you feel the necessity of. So it's a one time burn though. OK, so you start the hour, you get the all, the all hour at once. And that being said, whenever you decide to go for it, make sure you come prepared with a lot of question. <clears throat> questions. I'm sorry, plural. I got to use plural here. Right, so let's... Um, let's have a look. Right, so I'm going to, I'm feeling generous today and uh, I'm going to choose one relationship question now and one career question, okay? Um, let's see what the relationship question is going to be.
Okay, so the relationship question is straight off the back here. Uh, Nikki inputted it. We will have a new love in the near future, so let's have a look, Nikki. So the first one is the Ten of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Two of Swords. After that, that will be the Moon card. And the last one here, do I have the Tower? Right, so, okay, so those, uh, those four, those four we do have for you. Let me give you a time frame. Because that will be, you can't even be able to believe it how deep you're gonna end up um, in crash I just see just you're gonna crash on somebody okay um, and uh, according to the third card of the reading uh, it should be a mutual one even if that person doesn't know it yet at least at the very beginning of you being crushed on that guy but before that you have to pretty much exterminate extinguish whatever word you can use any shred of, 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 of anticipation or hope that something from the past can resuscitate okay so that is what holds you back uh, it's it, the even the little shred of idea you know that you by waiting somebody to come about from your past or even a new guy you know uh, it will help you to find love. I mean, you, love is not going to find you. You are going to find a new, and I mean a new love, okay? And if you are wondering, why are you single right now, Nikki? Well, that is because you are supposed to find a, a very specific type of love that you never had before, okay? That's why. So let me give you a time frame when that is about to happen. by December this year okay so it's it's rather soon uh, it's um, in the duration of a half an year okay so from now by December uh, and yeah pretty much that's uh, that's the answer to your question so you do not wait for it you go out and find it and it's going to be so sudden you will not gonna be able to believe it now if you are walking uh, upwards in your life that is going to turn your life upside down you won't be able to sleep you won't be able to eat you know you won't be able to pray much things straight as well this is how much you're gonna fall for the for, for that love and it's probably is going to be from a first sight okay so uh that was nikki's um answer now let's uh find a career one Right, so the next one is going to be Rebecca Mary, and the, um, her question is about her business, and is the business is going to take off soon. So let's, uh, let's have a look. Let me just uh, make a good shuffle of the cards so we don't have the energy of Nikki in.
Right, Rebecca, so let's have a look. Uh, the first one is going to be the Two of Wands, uh, followed by uh, the Magician. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the Page of Wands. And after that, that is going to be the Two of Cups. So those uh, those four cards, okay? Let me give you a time frame. So, Nikki, bottom line of those cards is that you do have so much to improve that it is not even funny, okay? So, uh, it's uh, more or less, it depends on you, the business can be successful, and I mean can. That is not. That doesn't mean that you do have it in the back, as a matter of fact. You do have a lot of work to do, girl. I mean, you do have so much to improve, and, and mainly with yourself. I mean, you got to get the hang of it, you got to learn, and you have to pretty much increase your skill, knowledge, and above everything else, the ability to negotiate. That is by far the uh, the most important skill that you need to polish and you need to improve in order to uh, make your uh, make your business so successful um but at the end uh, i do believe that some sort of a uh, partnership is going to be proposed to you that business partnership i mean okay and that business partnership proposition for a business partnership should come by the end of september this year from now by the end of september this year uh it does look like pretty how can i say a pretty productive if you mean if you will productive in a sense of that you both are going to be on the same page with how the business is developing. In other words, there won't be any points of, of, of collision here where uh, there will be some, for example, fights over money, fights over idea and these kind of stuff. And another thing that I can tell you about the business is that whatever clients you are dealing with, these people are going to love you. Okay, it's just they are going to be so pleased with that you are providing the service, they are gonna like you as a person, they are gonna like you as a professional and so on and so forth. Now, once again, the problem is going to be how you're going to display the business in front of the world. And for that, you do need those communicational skills improved. Um, as far as the business goes, you know, how far the business can go, it can go really far, okay? Uh, and you have to be even right now open for a, services that you are not contemplating on i mean whenever you know an idea of a service that you haven't even thought about comes about do not exclude it you know but just think over it because it may turn out to be exactly what you need in order to make the business uh, really lucrative and productive so that was uh, rebecca's uh, answer to the question uh, hopefully she enjoyed it and she liked it and that will pretty much going to conclude today's uh, today's live stream, guys. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> Once again, if you do, do want to uh, support me, all that you gotta do is uh, share the live stream so we can spread the world the, the word around. And uh, we are gonna see each other uh, one more time, the very least throughout the week. I am having an, an idea. I just want to consult it with my uh, with my staff. Because I don't do things if I don't consult them with my staff, especially with my manager. Beforehand, I did few few times these kind of stuff and they end up terribly. And, uh, you know, people who are just starting that business, um, they are asking me, well, how you are becoming successful? You know, how you are able to take off? Because believe me, taking off, it's really difficult. And, I, and there is only one answer to that. You do find a good manager. Okay, that, that's, that's the thing you got to do. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that concludes today's stream. Thank you again so much for watching. We're going to see each other at least one more time this week. And, uh, until then, bye.